Well, I first saw the DRS system operating in Norway way back in 1985, albeit a different system from today, but it was a, a system that, uh, that, that operated extremely well in towns and in, in rural areas as well. Uh, and I was keen from that point to, to see a similar system operating in Scotland. Even in the 80s it was a, an, an excellent system uh, and at that time I came back to Scotland and suggested that we should start looking at it uh, then, although it's taken 35 years for us to get there but uh, you know we always get there in the end. It was part of the 2009 Climate Change Act. It was stated in there that it was a policy uh, of the government, so it's, it's taken a while for the government to, 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 to get round to it, but uh, obviously we're better getting it right uh, rather than rushing into something and, and, uh, and not getting it right. And one of the um, examples of that is the fact that we're going to include glass in the system. Now, there was a debate very close to the announcement as to whether glass should be included, but it was a... Uh, generally accepted that um, if you're going to do it you might as well do it right and uh, rather than introducing glass at a later date it was better to introduce it uh, right at the beginning. It's always good when Scotland's ahead of the game. Uh, <laughs> the, the fact that uh, we've just gone ahead with it rather than wait for the UK to catch up uh, shows how determined we are uh, not just on deposit return schemes but uh, the whole climate change agenda. I'm absolutely over the moon that the legislation has been announced and I've raised some concerns uh, with regard to the timeline but I'm assured by the government that the timeline is still in place uh, and we would expect to have it rolled out and operating uh, by 2021.